안녕하세요. 잘 지내셨습니까, 여러분? Thank you. 네, 오늘 수업 시작하기 위해 그러면 먼저 하늘포님과 전진 자분께 경배를 올리도록 하겠습니다. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Before we start our today's session, we'll give a bow to heavenly parents and to parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. 하늘포님과 전진 자분께 경배 바로 기도는 어, 서유럽의 코디 제인 토에센이 하시겠습니다. I will ask uh, coordinator of uh, Western Europe, James Co. Sorry, what was the name? Jane Torreson. Jane Torreson, to offer a prayer, please. Let us pray. Our dear. Heavenly Parent, we are meeting here today um, to prepare our hearts to meet our true Father at the 10th uh, Sungwa anniversary. And we really want to offer ourselves to you at this time. And we really want to support our true Mother in her preparations. Um, the greatest thing we can do is to share the love, the blessing that you have given to us by passing it on to other people. Please help us learn through this lesson this morning how we can fulfill our mission more substantially and how we can become true Chombo couples who are worthy to follow our true mother and to build the nation of Chonilguk. We thank you so much for our true mother in providing this education for us, uh, Professor Gill and all the staff at the international headquarters. And we want to invite you to come and join us uh, during this webinar and that we can really absorb what you're trying to teach us and put it into practice. I offer you this prayer in the name of Ula and Jane Torrison of a Central Blessed Family. Aju. Aju. Thank you. Thank you very much. 네, 다음은 추석 체크 시간인데요. 아시다시피 채팅방에 들어가셔서 어, 필요한 내용을, 어, 필요한 정보를 남겨주시면 감사하겠습니다. 어, 이제 그 이번 수업 끝나고 이게 마지막 수업이니까 이번에 끝나고 수료식인데요. 그 저희가 수료증을 준비하는 데 있어서 이 추석 체크가 되게 중요합니다. 그래서 여러분 꼭꼭 이번에 마지막 수업인데 꼭 어, 추석 체크를 좀 제대로 해주시면 감사하겠습니다. Okay, uh, as you all know, before we start our session, please. Uh, check in your attendance in the chat room, all your information, you know what to do, nation, name, and position, uh, your contact information. This, since this is the last uh, session of our uh, CLS3, it's very important that we have your information uh, of attendance so that we can provide your uh, certificate. So please, please don't forget to check in. Write down your uh, attendance information. 네. 그러면 추석 체크하시는 동안 오늘 주요 참석자들을 소개하겠습니다. While you're um, checking your attendance, we'll introduce the main leaders who are participating in today's session. 네, 오늘의 주인공 길령환 교수님 참석하셨습니다. 아주 큰 박수. 안녕하세요. Give a big round of applause to our speaker today. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. 안녕하세요. Hello, everyone. 네, 감사합니다. 그리고 어, 항상 열심히 해주시는 통역 분들도 계시는데 어, 이제 영어 통역 하시는 크리스티나 리 감바시님하고 어, 러시아 통역을 하는 엘, 옐레나님도 
오늘 참석하셨습니다. 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. And I'd like to give a round of applause to the uh, interpreters. English is Christina Lee to me and Russian. Yelena, let's give a big round of applause. Thank you. 네, 그리고 항상 수고해 주시는 코디들도 오늘 참석하셨는데 어, 되게 많습니다. 유럽 쪽에서 어, Mr. Alexander Savelier, 그리고 Mrs. Jane Torreson, 그리고 어, 아프리카의 Mr. Chisha, 그 다음에 캐나다의 Mr. Katsumi Kambashi. 어, 이분들도 오늘 참석하셨습니다. 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. If I can remember all the names, <laughs> there are many coordinators attending uh, in today's session from Europe, Mr. Alexander, uh, Jane Torrison, and Chisha from Africa, and Katsumi Kambashi from Canada. Thank you for your participation. 감사합니다. 네, 마지막은 저는 줄리우스 우리 저쪽 우리 회장님도 참석하셨는데요. 아, 네. 네, 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 네. Okay, Reverend Julius, could you please say hello to everyone? Short greetings. I cannot see. Yes, uh, good, good evening, Professor Gill, and to all the participants of our CLS uh, class, the final, final one. So thank you for all the hard work and investment of Professor Gill. And yeah, it's really empowering many of our Chonbo uh, families, uh, especially to do well in, in our uh, tribal areas, in our mission nation. So thank you very much for all your investments, uh, in the, especially as we are now in the last uh, session. Thank you very much. Anyone from Africa, um, any leader, would you like to say hello? Please. Mr. Fabrice, maybe you can say something. Please come, Jang Chibanda, Reverend Jang Chibanda. Come on. Maybe I can say something? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, Thank you so much our dear leaders, brothers and sisters, for this great commitment that we have actually made to see to it that uh, we are moving together as a team and as a group, because um, uh, when we actually go out there to talk about true parents' values, true parents have always insisted on uh, interdependence, mutual prosperity, and uh, through this program, we are actually adopting to know that we have one value, which are the universal values that we want to cherish. And I really want to thank uh, Professor Gill that uh, you could make uh, the world feel and realize that we are truly one family under heavenly parents and true parents. This program has really made us feel that kind of uh, bond and togetherness because uh, it's your concern is my concern. Your feeling is my feeling. So truly, it's such a great honor and that we will be able to wake up and revive a lot of our brothers and sisters within the continent of Africa that we can surely give the glory and the highest glory to our heavenly parents and true parents as they constantly remind us that we need actually to proclaim true parents when they are still here on earth when True Mother is still on earth here, why don't we give our honor to her and that she'll be able to receive it and respond to it and like when she's in the spirit world. I'm truly so blessed to be part of this uh, last session and give glory to heavenly parents and true parents. Thank you so much. 
감사합니다. 네, 방금 잠비아 국가 회장님 데이빗 아이즈크님 오셨습니다. 박수 부탁드립니다. That was the national president from Zambia, uh, Reverend Isaac David Fury. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, you remember all are aware of uh, under the title of Let's Meet Your Father and everyone is uh, attending and praying for the uh, special event. 네, 천주성화 10주년을 맞이해서 아, 어, 전체 전 세계 우리 식구들이 아버님을 그리워하고 있습니다. As we are uh, expecting and preparing for the 10th anniversary of uh, Heavenly Songha of True Father, the whole uh, world, the members from the whole world is uh, connecting together to pray and uh, yeah, prepare. 우리가 참 아버님을 뵈러 가면 그곳에 누가 계실까요? So when we uh, meet your father, where, who would be there with your father? Yeah, 참 어머님이 기다리고 계시겠죠. Of course, it'd be your mother who's been, who would be waiting to meet uh, your father together. Yeah, 오늘 이 시간은 uh, 그런 마음을 가지고 함께 공유하는 시간을 갖도록 하겠습니다. And let's have a session with that kind of heart of meeting true parents together and share. 인생에 있어서 하고 싶은 것, 되고 싶은 것을 이루게 하기 위해서 어떻게 해야 될 것인가. So today we'll share uh, in our lifetime, like what we want to achieve and who, want, who we want to become and how to do it is what we want to share today. 그래서 오늘은 우리 인생은 현재, 과거, 미래라고 하는 타임라인 상에서 우리 스스로가 우리가 원하는 것을 할수 있도록 하는 법을 공유하도록 하겠습니다. So today uh, I'm going to share about the timeline that connects uh, the present, the past and the future. <웃음> and how we can achieve what we want to achieve. 여러분 알다시피 우리 안에는 우리보다 더큰 힘이 더큰 능력을 가지신 분이 계십니다. As you know, uh, inside us, within us, there's a great power, uh, the divine um, lives within us. Yeah. 그러나 우리는 그걸 모르고 매일같이 살고 있죠. However, we don't realize that and live just in a daily life. 우리들은 나의 프레임 안에 살고 있습니다. 나의 프레임 안에서. And we live within our frame of our body, I guess. 그러나 오늘 우리가 타임라임이라고 하는 것은 우리가 갖고 있던 프레임을 리프레임 하는 겁니다. 다시 프레임을 만들어 가는 거. In uh, today we're going to learn within uh, our timeline we'll reframe ourselves. 할수 없다고 하는 것을 할수 있는 프레임을 만들어 가는 거. Instead of uh, we're saying oh I can't do it, but we'll reframe it saying I can do it. 할수 있을까 하는 것도 할수 있도록 리프레임 하는 거. And also to reframe, uh, we may say, oh, can I do it? And two, I can do it. 아주 짧은 시간이지만은. Of course, it's a very short time. 한번 해보십시다. Let's do it together. 네, 오늘 두 사람이 또그 발표를 하고 또한 분은 이 리프레임 역사에 대한 효과에 대해서 발표를 해주겠습니다. 
we'll have two presenters today sharing and also one more person who will share about the effectiveness of reframing ourselves. Uh, I'm going to share a video a presentation of my lecture today. Okay. We will have a coaching time by making a timeline in dual coaching. By doing this timeline coaching, I've had a lot of good results achieving what my client wanted. Timeline coaching is when a coach and client set the current timeline and the client receives coaching while moving back and forth between the past and the future on their timeline. When these methods are mastered, client will be able to create their own timelines and solve their own problems as they come and go on their timeline. They will find themselves becoming chumbo families. In this way, individual problems, family problems, and tribal problems can be overcome. Now, let's look at the PPT. The first picture is about the coach drawing a line representing the past, present, and the future on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And have a coaching conversation with the client. The second picture below shows a line tapped on the floor, not on paper. And the client receives coaching as they walk up and down on the timeline between the past, present, and future. Now, let's figure out how to do timeline coaching. Let's type a timeline on the floor and have your client stand in a, a, a certain uh, a place. The coach asks the client, where is your current position on the timeline? You let the client recognize that the spot they are standing on is their current position on the timeline. Then you ask it, if this is your present position, where is the future position in which your wishes have been achieved? And you recommend it that your client go to the place where their wishes come true in the future. It will take time for them to find their place of the future. The coach wait for them to find the place. When the client stand in the position where their goal has been achieved, the coach informs the client they that they are on the face to the future they have longed for. The coach speaks to the client with support and congratulations. You have achieved your goal wonderfully. Congratulations. I hope you will enjoy this moment now that your goal has been accomplished. The coach support and confirms with client so that they can realistically feel and believe firm that they have achieved their goals. For example, you ask it, what is it like where you are standing? What kind of people are there? What do you see? What do you see? And you encourage them to share their achievement in detail with excitement. Make sure that 
they are demonstrating the unwavering confidence that they have achieved what they wanted. We provide coaching that can help them feel deeply that they are on the right spot of the timeline in which they have achieved their success. In this way, we enable them to see well, that is, to visualize their accomplishment. Coaches enable clients to have a clear sense of future outcomes they want. So you confirm by asking questions as follows. Let's say the goal of timeline coaching is to form a trinity including the client who can all work together. Then in this future position, the trinity will have been firmly established. The coach will check this result. Okay, what are you doing with your trinity right now? Where is the place? Where is the place? Who are you with? What is your condition? How does your body feel? Feel the best feeling in Corey, anchoring it, anchoring, you know, anchoring it. Check the, the desired state, the state and the place. By asking these questions, you make sure the client align with his or her success position. The coach help the client to see themselves objectively so you ask it. In what way do you see yourself as having achieved the treaty? Look in the past, when was the most difficult time in your timeline? Go to the most difficult time and stand on that spot. What were you like back then? Then go to the place where you overcome it. What happened to you then? Check the evidence on the uh, timeline. What did you do right before your success? How did you create the environment? How did you create the environment? What actions of your own made it possible to realize it? What were your beliefs? Did you have a spiritual basis? By asking questions like this, clients find reasons for success and solidify their belief. Have the client return to their place of success and stand. Now, let's slowly work back to the place where you succeed. You confirm their success by asking, please tell me if there is anything that comes to your mind as you are working. When the client is standing on the line of success, ask them the following. How are you feeling now? How are you feeling now? You have already achieved your will. Please express yourself. What does your success look like? What kind of help will you need from your coach in the future? Please tell me how you feel right now. If the client is hesitant or uncertain about their answer while on the timeline, you start the timeline coaching again by having them go back, go back to the fast and step on the line between the present and the 
future. I have tried simple timeline coaching with you. This requires a lot of practice and object filing to enable clear feelings. Let's work hard to become chamber coaches by sharing time coaching eagerly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's uh, uh, invite uh, National President of uh, Zambia, Isaac David Fury, uh, for his first presentation. Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you so much um, for that great opportunity and also the platform to learn so many things. I'll just give um, a little bit of background of where we are coming from in terms of this quest that we are on today. When it comes to the mission as a victor in the Chombo, we find ourselves actually already that some of us have already moved on that timeline as Professor Gill was sharing with us. And how did we move there? To be honest, when True Parents actually gave us the responsibility to go and be victorious in our tribal Messiah areas, I personally did not take it as my personal responsibility. I first looked at it as an assignment by true parents to achieve a certain goal. Then after achieving that goal, sit down and relax. But through the consistence and guidance of different uh, elder brothers and uh, sisters, and especially the effort by Dr. Gill, it has given us a time to realize that actually to be a Chombo victor, to be a successful tribal messiah is what I am meant to be and is supposed to be my lifestyle. And this lifestyle should not only end with me, but it should make others become what I have become. So I cannot only end as a victor, but I should also create many more other victors. This has been quite a journey that has made us realize that true parents are not the miraculous Messiah that will do things miraculously, but actually true parents are there to also be the main coach, to coach us on the path of human salvation. If I become a Chombo victor, it's not just to become that, but actually to know that I have been recruited now in the heavenly army to become a channel through which the savior, the true parents of humankind, can be known by all humanity. Because in Christianity, people believe that Christ Jesus came for all human beings. And yet, he was only known by a few people. Today, we all know that true parents came for all humanity. But only a few of us know. And it is through this effective message and method of raising others to be what I have become and beyond, that we are truly seeing the reality of human salvation. But it was actually a defeating thought for most of us to say, how can I truly 
make everybody benefit in terms of getting this salvation. Because uh, getting a little bit behind the time that I realized that true parents are on earth and made the principle, we were pretty much thinking like, wow, once I get the blessing, that's it. Then the blessing came. Oh, once I start family, that's it. Then the family came. We didn't have the full picture of what the line of salvation is. But today, with the proficiency of our true parents and the great education that we are receiving, we see that it's a calling to be the people that can change the world, to be the people that can be the change that we want to see in the world. That's why it is a time of self assessment and self-realization that what am I going to do to save my brothers and sisters that do not know that the cancer we are suffering of immorality, the cancer we are suffering of broken families can actually be healed by adhering to the standards that true parents have set. Having the theory alone cannot make any changes in this world we are living in. Africa is a continent riddled by so many calamities, wars, family breakdown, immorality. Presidents come and presidents go, but we've seen no change, but with the effectiveness of blessed families taking up the responsibility of becoming victorious chombos. We see that this is the only way that even governments will solve the problems. And we are the center of that solution. A few days ago, I was going through True Parents' uh, peace messages. And there was a catch word that I came to understand. Because the question was, what is it that we can confirm as the center of the universe? In the peace message, True Father gives the answer that the center of the universe is the parent-child relationship. When we talk about the parent-child relationship, it is not a blank statement but such a great statement that will make us realize what actually we are supposed to do to heal this world. Through tribal messiah activities, through heavenly tribal messiah activities, I have come to realize what substantially this statement means when we say actually, we are the heavenly tribal messiahs. Because when True Parent says, what is the center of the universe? And we say the center of the universe is a parent-child relationship. It means that the parent-child relationship is a situation and a realization where I am saying, I can only do this if I take responsibility. I can only do this if I become the main person that should actually take full responsibility and become the parent. And why is the world not the way heavenly parents wanted it to be today? It is simply because we have not established the center and the center being true parents and blessed families becoming the branch true parents. It means that it is only when we take this as a serious responsibility, as a core responsibility that we can actually solve the problems of the world today. What does a parent do? And that is why 
heavenly tribal messiahship and the quest to become a victorious chombo makes us realize that the center of the universe is truly the parent-child relationship. And the parent-child relationship means that if today the world cannot be canceled by the parental figure, starting from the individual, family, society, nation, and world, it means that the world will be suffering a crisis that we all now see on the world level, where we I see nations yeah. attacking yeah. nations. Yeah. Because thank you, thank you for I, your sharing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, or someone back from Kamsamida. Thank you very much wow. for your sharing today. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. 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 Based on today's lesson on timeline coaching, would you be able to guide your members in your country with this timeline coaching yourself? Thank you so much for that question. Actually, uh, it's a big revelation, I would say, and it to be a very important tool because like I said, when we started, we didn't know that this is a responsibility to raise others through the time that we've been given. And with this guidance and guideline, it will be a very effective way. There are so many of our members that today, uh, uh, Professor Gil, they don't even want to start. They don't even want to realize that it is a responsibility for all of us to start. But with this clear guideline, it will truly help us to know that everybody can do it. If I did it, then I should actually be able to guide my brothers and sisters to go through this. It is only through this that I can be able to give the victory to true parents because my victory alone doesn't matter so much. But when the victory is together with my brothers and sisters, we are surely making it. Surely this is a great tool for our nation. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, 앞으로 어, 식구들을 이 타임라인 코칭을 통해서 그 그들의 프레임을 바꿔줄 수 있다 이렇게 느껴집니다. 어... 자 그다음에 두 번째 발표하실 분. I believe uh, from now on, uh, based on this timeline coaching, you can help reframe uh, your members in your country, and we will invite the next presenter. 네. 어 다음 발표자가 어 그쵸 러시아 HQ의 사무국장이신데 어 알렉산더 소콜롭님을 모시겠습니다. 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. Okay, we'll invite uh, the next presenter is uh, Secretary General from Russian headquarters, uh, Mr. Alexander Sokol Sokolov. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, so uh, our uh, final session and uh, timeline coaching. Uh, can you see my presentation? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, when I uh, see the explanation of uh, Professor Gil, uh, I uh, thought that. Uh, uh, Actually, when it is uh, possible to uh, use uh, the timeline coaching using the, uh, not just uh, drawing it on a paper, but when a client can move uh, like on the floor with all his body moving from uh, present to future, I felt that it is, uh, if when it's possible, it's always uh, better to use because uh, uh, it is uh, much more effective as I see. Because on the paper, only with eyes and fingers, a uh, client can move uh, from present to future and back. But when he moves uh, just walking uh, to and fro, then it is uh, much more easy for a client to change his mind and set, uh, 
to give uh, as a refrain, as a internally to uh, create a clear and a realistic vision of uh, achieving uh, his goal. It is like uh, in Song Sang and Hyung Sang uh, coming together, it creates uh, much more energy. Uh, internal and external together involved in timeline coaching, generating more energy and power according to divine principle to help client to change, advance and achieve, achieve his goal, achieve his desire. <clears throat> Internally, uh, when uh, we um, ask right good questions to client, he uh, puts in his imagination in uh, uh, understanding better what he wants to achieve. Uh, we try to let him feel inspiration yeah, both in the process of achieving his uh, goal and uh, also uh, to feel inspiration when he already in this point spot of the future when the goal is achieved. Uh, and if uh, we can do this to the client, then it for client, it will be their very good source of uh, additional energy in the future because he can uh, always return to this feeling and inspiration and make it uh, his source of energy in difficult times. We try to uh, make his belief uh, stronger, belief in that uh, he can do it. Uh, not only, yeah, like going through from, I can do it first to, can I do this? And then to, I can do this <laughs> with uh, uh, great determination. Then also if he, our client can um, uh, in detail, see what kind of steps he need to make to overcome all difficulties he meets, uh, he then can have good plan, uh, uh, good planning and analysis of the situation. Uh, he can uh, make stronger desire. He can visualize the situation in which his goal is achieved much better. Externally, when client moves to the future, to the present situation and in the middle, uh, it helps him, uh, this external change helps him internally change because when he just sitting in front of me as a coach, then I uh, uh, think it is more difficult to have big changes internally. But he, when he externally feels that I was in this point and now this I, now I moved, I moved externally and internally also, I have all reasons to have change in my mind, to have a different approach, to have different vision, different look at the situation. And then uh, I can um, achieve better results with my client. <clears throat> Uh, the change in external location helps changing the state of mind and focus for the client. Uh, then uh, I th also uh, analyzing the lecture of Professor Gill, I thought to whom this can be applied well. Who is the client? Uh, the client, the client should be able to reveal his true heart when having session with a coach, as Professor Gill is saying. Then it means that. Actually, client should be already quite good person, uh, even though maybe having difficulties in his life. That's why he needs uh, coaching help from the coach. And for and if the client, for example, persistently exp expressing selfish, bad goals, ideas, desires, when of course for coach it will be difficult to help such client to become better my person and closer to God and to ideal of creation. Then, uh, um, for example, if uh, like uh, with uh, uh, national leader of Zambia, Professor Gil, uh, was really interested uh, how uh, the leader, for example, can help members uh, using timeline coaching. I thought that, uh, for example, for already uh, Heavenly Parents, Holy Community members, we can apply uh, it uh, being the coaches for them uh, as our clients. Or for example, for our tribe, for those for whom we witness, maybe they know divine principle, divine principle maybe not yet, 
But if they have good relationship with them and they are good and receptive to our uh, to God's word, then if we uh, if they are in our spiritual tribe, we can approach them, for example, with uh, uh, this suggestion that if they have difficulties, we can coach them using timeline coaching and uh, help them through this. And then the client will uh, like also, uh, as uh, Professor Guy is saying, find the best feeling and anchor it. The best feeling of when goal is achieved, the goal which I, which I really desire, client really desires and anchor it. I remember it, I can recall it later and I feel it strongly. Then uh, through timeline coaching, I can help client create plan of a plan of achieving the goal, see the steps to the goal, visualize fulfilling of goal of the client and have strong belief and determination uh, that this can be achieved. And uh, the last part I, I would say, which attitude and ability is required from the coach uh, as we are uh, learning it from me as I see myself as being such a coach. Great sympathy to the client that I should, if I want to, uh, if the client himself cannot without my help, uh, have this great desire, determination, and uh, this enthusiasm toward the goal to uh, achieve it uh, by himself, then I should instill it, then I should sympathize with the client. And for his goal, I should have this by myself, I should have this belief, should have this enthusiasm, should have this inspiration to instill it and uh, hand it over to my client. It is like uh, I should be able to feel joy when client achieve the goal as if I, the coach myself, have achieved the goal, uh, which I really desire. Have belief in the goal. I, as coach, should be, have this belief and have inspiration from achieving, achieve, achieving this goal. And I uh, see that it is possible that uh, when I see the client as a child of God, and then I, when I think about myself that I want to uh, be united with God and with two parents, then I naturally look at uh, my client as my own child. And then uh, it will be very natural to, for me to feel uh, closeness to uh, my a client and then or, or as any parent want to be proud of child and really feels joy and uh, great inspiration when the child achieves uh, great achievements. Then I as a coach will be able to have this inspiration and belief in my client and then I can uh, give it uh, to my client and client can uh, inherit it from me. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. This is what I wanted to share concerning this uh, lecture and my uh, thoughts. And uh, yeah, maybe last point I want to uh, mention is that uh, I thought when I was looking at this lecture, I thought, well, at the timeline, there was also past, but Professor Gill didn't tell anything <laughs> about what should uh, a coach ask and what should a client think about and do when he not only goes uh, between present and future, but only between past and present. My th uh, uh, personal opinion about this was that if uh, past was, uh, if present is better than the past, then for example, uh, we can inspire client with the uh, point that he already could, uh, uh, improved in many ways, could achieve uh, comparing to the past, uh, a lot and give him this inspiration that he, he can move forward, he can advance more. Uh, this is my thought uh, and maybe Professor Gil can add something to it or uh, fix it by <laughs> by some mistake to, according to his, his mind. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Yeah. Thank you for your, your really summarized very well, like key points you've uh, explained. I believe you'll become a wonderful coach.
그리고 중요한 건 클라이언트가 누구냐 하는 그런 것 아주 좋았습니다. I especially like, you know, you uh, shared about who is the client, right? 여기서 나오는 코치와 클라이언트는 그 클라이언트가 원하는 목적을 달성하기 위해서 안타깝고 정말 그꼭 클라이언트가 목적을 달성할 수 있도록 공감하고 공명하는 상태에서 아마 코칭을 해야 될 것입니다. Uh, coach, a uh, coach need to know uh, what the client actually want to achieve, and you should be able to uh, feel the same way as the client wishes and help uh, your client, the client, to achieve that through your. Uh, resonance in heart with your client. So far, how we've been doing in our uh, movement is that when the leaders wanted to achieve something or do something, it was basically just uh, sending the order, like you do, this, please do this, uh, not thinking of how the clients would think about those kind of directions. 그래서 물론 여러분들이 원하는 결과는 얻었겠지만은 of course, uh, you may have the result as you wish through this kind of uh, uh, direction, giving direction. 지금처럼 클라이언트 입장에 있어서 그가 할수 있도록 진심으로 도울 수 있다면 대단히 큰 결과를 얻게 될 것입니다. However, if we uh, think of uh, the position of the client and assist and help the clients actually do uh, their work, I'm certain that they will bring a greater results. 그래서 이렇게 타임라인 코칭을 위해서 많은 시간 투입을 해야 됩니다. And we need to invest a lot of time for this timeline coaching. 마지막 그 리포트를 듣고 난 다음에 제가 시간이 되면 타임라인 코칭을 여러분들한테 한번 해보겠습니다. 실제로. And after we uh, listen to the last uh, report, uh, who is going to share, if the time allows uh, us, I'd like to do a timeline coaching with you and practicing with you. Yeah. We'll invite. Okay, I would like to invite uh, Mrs. Yuki Lee from Malaysia to share her uh, case uh, about the reframing. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, uh, let me share my screen. Yeah, good evening, Professor Diu and all brothers and sisters. My name is uh, Yuki. Uh, can can I let me share my slide? Yeah, so I'm from Dream Tornado, uh, Home Group Malaysia. And today I will share my testimony, my changing through coaching. And I joined this movement actually and received blessing is in year 2005 in uh, KL. Okay. So after that, uh, actually the time I was a very active student member and had, I, I had been joining full time from 2017 until year 2010. Then after that, I started my family in Malacca and quit my full time life. 
yeah, I slowly become an inactive member. Okay, from very active to become inactive due to I very struggle with the environment that I facing the time. Yeah, so I'm very grateful that time uh, one leader appear is Father Win Long. He is my able. So at the same time, he uh, brought me to attend Professor Gill's uh, home group workshop in Malaysia. So I'm very grateful uh, that they, they happened a turning point, yeah, especially for Malacca. Uh, so the appeal of Professor Gill actually is the light for our state. Okay, so we start for our home group. Then after that, through home group, actually we gain a lot of power and to organize many activities. And very grateful that we finally, <laughs> on a long history until that uh, the time 2017, yeah, and until this 2019, Finally, we got we got a bed through our first Malacca blessing event. Yeah, after we have this uh, home group, then follower is uh, have this second second Malacca blessing event and third. So you can see that at the same same year we bed through for this blessing event that we haven't had before. So actually, it's very uh, happy happy moment for for our Malacca. Yes, so, and at the same time also, we, uh, we have success to break, uh, able to witness one new member through home group also after seven, 17 years, no new life since 2024. Because 2024 in Malacca, actually, we have uh, still got new life. But after that, from 2024 until 2018, uh, we, don't have, we don't have new life. Uh, born. So it's very sad. It's typical in witnessing actually. Yeah. So very grateful because our home group, we finally we, we can witness and success to uh, witness one new member. But unfortunately, due to 2020 and MCO start, uh, this new member actually she left. Yeah. And she doesn't have continue because this what happened is because we don't have continuous for our home group gathering and also we don't have the um, follow-up system actually at the time we still quite blur <laughs> because we just learn and practice and try okay so um because mco also also difficult for us how to continue for home group yeah so me myself mm, is out of ambiguity and powerless yeah and many doubt and discuss and I think the worst is I, I cannot feel anything. I have no feeling, even though with my husband, I also cannot feel, even though I know he loved me so much, but I don't know why my heart, I think I like already died. I no feeling at all. Yeah, so I no feel with God and men even, and I think this is very serious. Yeah, yeah so I'm very grateful. <laughs> so uh, suddenly the image of, this uh, awakening team, he appeared in front of me. So I'm very grateful, uh, Brad Winong and Sister Hui Kim. Both of them uh, at the time is, uh, for this uh, awakening team, uh, they came and coached me. So this also uh, become a big impact to me and my home group also after I had been coached. Why I said like that? Because through the coaching, it let me see through my struggling situation and how I struggle with the tr Trinity member and my able, there's my leader. And all this is, let me see through well. And this is my, and I realized that all this actually is my own concept. And this own concept is my conceptual concept also until it hurt me myself. Yeah, without I notice it. And this I keep, uh, continuously and become is quite serious until I no feeling at all. Okay, so because I understand what I want is I want to be happy after have the coach. I realized that actually, eh, yeah, I want to be happy. Also, I want to be good with everyone. Of course, with my family member and my team member, and I believe and respect what they want together, and and we want together to fulfill God's dream. 
yeah, this is what I want. And this is the uh, my conscious talk to me also. And this also, when I imagine this picture, actually I'm very happy. So it also made me realize uh, what I should do. So not only I realized, oh, okay, actually it's my problem, but actually I also realized uh, what I should do. So I also realized that I cannot continue like this, uh, continue criticize or complain, even though I see my leader or this, this, this. <laughs> yeah, or, or the environment is very, very worse, okay? Because you, you see the witnessing or what, anything like not easy. Yeah, I cannot continue like this. So I should uh, take action to change myself. So this is uh, uh, thinking image to me. I have to change myself and taking action. Not just understand, but important, I'm taking action. So I need to work from my shadow to practice the four magic work. So this is um, the first thing I, I do. Uh, okay, I say the four magic words. I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you. I love you. To every parents, to parent, and of course to myself also, because I hurt um, my all this bad thinking actually hurt my my conscious so much. Yeah. So through this forward, actually, it also healed my wounds. And it made me understand the importance of home group and my Trinity members and how I can, and also it also made me realize how I can uh, revive my home group and work together. Yeah, this is very important. So that night, uh, I also gained the spiritual power from True Mother. Yeah, actually, True Mother never appeared in front of me or, in, or appeared in my dreams. But this is a very precious moment. True Mother really uh, uh, appeared. So it, she appeared to heart and holding my heart. Because that time, actually, my heart still feeling not easy and still not 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 have the feeling so the moment nearly through mother heart and and hold my heart i still can imagine the is holding like this yeah with love so i can feel through mother's uh, love and he really uh, melt my heart yeah with the true mother's love so suddenly i feel very warm and many many things uh, i can let go yeah and i start uh, and the moment also I start to have feeling and I can feel love and to love the people around me. So start from the day, I start to recover my heart. Yeah, so I can love, I can feel. Yeah, I'm so happy also. So after the changing, it also made the change and made the impact to my Trinity. Yeah, so my Trinity member one by one uh, start awake also because of awakening him. They have this uh, coaching section, yeah, and also gain the power and spirit for Trinity and home group. So I can see that because I'm changing, actually, also bring a, a breakthrough point for our Trinity to change also. So everybody gain the confidence to share to others and start to witness and invite people. Yeah, so uh, we follow and apply what we learn from Professor Gil. The home group frost cycle and also we also apply the self-coaching five days in our home group yeah so very grateful we totally really uh, follow this step and this is in, very important until now our home group also continue practice it so because of this uh system yeah we finally also we success to uh witness and bet through uh, this uh, witness this one new member until now he very uh, supportive yeah so after that you can see that not only one actually we also break through from one we uh, from one new member we can create to eight members so this is another four members that uh, we several uh, celebrate the online uh, spiritual birthday celebration for them okay this is after one year hardship yeah because uh, after the home uh, self-coaching yeah so this is the the happy day we organize so not only we depend last time we depend on our school they mean our headquarter to to organize the workshop but now our home group can organize our own uh, happy day for our guests yeah so you can see that not 
Because last time I was complaining why I only me to do this and do that. <laughs> but, but because of changing, I also think uh, realize many things. So I can see what really many things happen uh, once I change. Yeah. So you can see that uh, all our Trinity members, they are taking action. Yeah, invite guests and also uh, participate as a staff. Yeah, together we can can success to organize all this workshop. And we also can produce from one and now eight. Maybe you are thinking it is very slow, but this is uh, very good because um, you can see that not only we 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 can we can produce this eight new member, yeah. Actually, we also can raise up our future leader. Actually, it's our, our kids. Yeah, so we also raise up the second gen in our home group. Yeah, so not only we raise up our this uh, new member, actually, we, our tri Trinity member, actually, we also have our uh, second gen. So at the same time, we also raise up our second gen. Yeah, actually, this second gen, uh, that time only, only, um, he, uh, 12 years old she already she already witness this sister okay this little sister yeah together join until now so wow i very i feel very uh happy also wow you're so young but you can witness and back through this witnessing so it's a good a very good uh testimony for us also yes so you can see until now, we already uh, continue our home group uh, four cycle. This is the third round, okay? Not only one round already finished, but we continue. Yeah, so you can see that every week on Monday, Monday uh, we non-stop. Oh, sure, we will join for our home group. And you can see that uh, slowly, even though slow, okay? But slowly, slowly, all our new members start to uh, take part and take their ownership, want to uh, improve. And, and contribute for our home group. So they start to take some uh, responsibility to help for our home group. Yes. So uh, not only like that, yeah. So we also continue coach, <laughs> coaching. So because this coaching is, is very important. So uh, we also through this uh, weekly internal guidance and this uh, beauty, beautiful night, yeah, okay? Sometimes in night, sometimes it's afternoon. Yeah, so beautiful time. Yeah. We have this uh, coaching section for our all these uh, new member. Yeah, so this also uh, very inspired them until they can uh, keep going on and move on. And yeah, so besides this, uh, now we also continue uh, to build out our bonding and relationship uh, through this uh, physical uh, gathering, home group gathering. Yes. Mm. So, and last, of course, what I want to become the Chombo couple is not my dreams. Okay, of course, uh, besides of my home group member and trinities, of course, the most important is my, my husband. <laughs> because actually, me and husband is separate in different locations. He is in Singapore, I'm in Malaysia, and me myself have to take care of the five kids. And I have my, my own work also. So, I also try... <laughs> To make my husband have the uh, idea of how we together to, to success this uh, Chombo couple. Yeah, because for him, actually, his timetable is not easy to join our home group and many things. But because I think it's, um, uh, I continue involved in this home group and my changing. Yes. So finally, actually, my husband also changed. <laughs> yeah, I'm very shocked and surprised. Suddenly, he go and uh, witness his uh, roommates and his colleague, and together we also having our happy day, <laughs> okay, to have his uh, colleague, yes. Okay, so uh, uh, breast family responsibility that I realized in HDM is not for one shake, or, but we support each other and together we success. Yeah, so now uh, our mission actually is, uh, we not only, oh, I only focus, I want to fulfill my 400 couples or I want to raise out the 43 couples only for my own family, no like that. But it's, uh, we help each other in our uh, home group and also we want to raise up our future leaders. Yeah, they also success, uh, especially our kids, our spiritual children, yeah, and support uh, 
uh, these Trinity members are uh, kids also together with success. Uh, this uh, fulfill this uh, 430 uh, couples or horizontal and vertical substantially. Yes. Uh, thank you for my this uh, sharing and listening, everyone. Thank you so much. So you can see behind me, not only having parents to parents, actually also have my this uh, team. <laughs> They really support me. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, wow. It was very grateful announcement. Yeah, really fun. Anyone ask your question to the presenter? I'm gonna toss me down. Anyone would like to ask a question to uh, Mrs. Yuki Lee? Yes, Mr. Pierre. Yes, I'm sorry. A very simple question. How many children do you have? <laughs> sorry, very simple <laughs> question. How many children? My, my children? I have five children. Oh, That's how you see the picture. Incredible. My children. <laughs> very quick, eh? You join, you bless, you have five children. Very inspiring. <laughs> Thank you. I also ask, uh, I want to ask concerning uh, new members that you mentioned. Uh, some of them are second gen. Uh, I want to ask, maybe they were distant before from movement and now uh, because of your investment, they became like uh, more identity, more invest in the movement, but what is their case? Uh, my understanding that usually second generation uh, are connected to the movement quite naturally. Uh, in your case, you feel that through your investment it happens, right? Uh, could you explain it a bit? Okay. Uh, maybe you think second gen is very easy to uh, adopt in the environment, right? Is it you, you mean like that? Uh, <laughs> no, when, when Talking about new members, I think three of them, uh, you mentioned they are, they are second. Eight, eight, no, 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 eight of, eight of them is not, not uh, second gen. But that's why I got label one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, they one is not second gen. They one actually is first gen, is our new member. Then the others I know label one, they one is second gen. Yeah. Okay, maybe I need to show mm. again the, the, the slide. Sorry for that. Do you mean this? Yeah, so you can see I label one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, this is not second gen. They are not label one, this is second gen. Actually, we know, actually, at first, we never think about the second gen. We only focus, we want to to raise up our VIP, okay? But because, we, we continue, continue to like this, the full cycle. Very naturally, I also don't know, we, already we can raise up our second gen, they also involved together. Yeah. Mm. And at the same time, you can see, um, very success is our, this second gen, he can raise up his, his one spiritual children in the home group also. Mm. Yeah. So oh, it's quite, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now it's clear, thank you. <laughs> okay. So this also made us very confident. Uh, this uh, professor can teach this home group, how, how we run it. Yeah, actually we can apply not only in our home group, actually in our daily, we also can, it is very important uh, how we make our chong song, then how we create this relationship to build relationship to others. Mm, this one is very important. Even though we don't know join home group uh, in our company or in the society actually is, Naturally, we have to live like that. Yeah, so through home group actually made, uh, made me realize also, actually this is the lifestyle. I have to, I have to live like that also. Yeah, not because, oh, I, now it's home group time. I have to like this. Now it's home group. Then I have to go and do winner thing like this. 
actually it's not actually it is to become my 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 lifestyle also my habit yeah this, this is my realization after already many rounds of or home group because at starting i really also blur out how 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 is home group why like that cannot understand actually but just just uh, do only la. yeah finally run many rounds then you can you can understand mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Hui Kim. Uh, could you explain to us uh, uh, awakening coaching? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good uh, evening, Professor Gill and all the leaders. Yeah, uh, for Malaysia, we have a great this kind of the coaching section. We call it the awakening coaching healing section. It is uh, based on our country situation and also our uh, our uh, uh, spiritual providence in our country. Based on our country situation, we feel that our members, they need this kind of the coaching section because uh, in the past throughout so many years uh, actually uh, uh, our the the the, the missionaries who, who were uh, sent by two parents to Malaysia to pioneer in Malaysia is in 1975 but until today for more than 40 years was passed but Malaysia we couldn't uh, break through in uh, in terms of a uh, membership and we are starting there. We are uh, just uh, stopping there. So there is uh, so many things that happen in our country spiritually. So that's why, and also because of our blessed family, many of them, uh, especially the elder also. So uh, also in the past of the leadership uh, situation, it make a very hard time for all our members, especially our home member, especially our best family. So they are suffering a lot. So in order for them to really get it of all kind of the suffering cause and uh, all kind of the hatred and even the resentment toward the church or towards the leadership, they need some kind of the, this uh, coaching uh, healing and because at that time we found this uh, trinity, then we start to do this uh, coaching to them one by one. And then uh, I feel very surprised about today this uh, timeline coaching because Professor Gil mentioned that uh, we need to uh, guide this uh, client to the past, especially uh, one, one part that I mean uh, in their past uh, memory, the most uh, difficult moment they face and how they break through or they overcome it. So uh, in our awakening uh, coaching, we also guiding a member to look back their past uh, history and their memory. But our focus point is we want to let them understand their own situation. Actually, they was bound by some kind of the shadow inside their heart, which is maybe their wound, their spiritual wound, or maybe their resentment towards so many, many years in the church. So they can't uh, liberate themselves. They can't release it. And it make them uh, entangled and bound there. So that's why their great potential cannot be exposed out. So they are stuck in there and they become so limited in many ways, internally, spiritually, externally, even their financially. So when we do this uh, coaching healing to them, then uh, we guide them to see well. And actually, at the beginning, we don't know what to do to them. We just, uh, by faith, and then we put everything to heavenly parent. We just pray, and then we just really purify ourselves. We don't have uh, any kind of our, our own thinking. We just really put ourselves in the shoe of this member to understand their heart, to listen well about their situation, their experience, their bad uh, memory or their uh, resentment in the past. We just listen. And then after they finish all the sharing, then we will use this uh, 
what the professor gives teachers about the Chong Song qualification, the four magic words, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. These are four magic words. We're guiding them how to healing their own spiritual wound, one by one, step by step. So centering on heavenly parent and true parent. First, we need to really say sorry to heavenly parents because of our ignorance, because of our shortcoming and even our fallen nature. Then that's why we are bounded by all kinds of the negativity and also our own uh, negative emotion. So because of that, we are we are so so uh so entangled with that. But when we say really sorry, heavenly parent, please forgive me. Sincerely from our heart, we really say out that we can feel there is some kind of the power coming to our heart. It makes us release and it makes us really liberate ourselves. And then automatically our tears will come, we're, we're shedding down our tears will come out and then we can't control it because the, this is the the way that we can really healing ourselves and also uh, in front of uh, two parents we need to say these are four magic words and also towards those people who are hating uh, who are i mean uh, hurting us because maybe the leaders their words their strong ig or maybe it's their strong guidance, or maybe the direction, or whatever. It is hurting them so much. So they need to release it. So uh, when they imagine that kind of the memory, that kind of the picture, they still remember that memory. And then based on that person, then they say out oh, these are four magic words. And then lastly, they need to say these four magic words to themselves because, because of uh, our own ego, because of our ego, that's why we can't see our true self. That's why we cannot connect to heavenly parent. So we need to really say to myself, for example, I'm quick Kim. So I say to myself, quick Kim, so sorry, so sorry. Please forgive me. I make you so hard time. I make you suffer so much. Yeah, because of me, you are so suffering and you have a lot of resentment. I feel so sorry to you. Please forgive me. And thank you. You are so strong and you are persevered until today. You never give up of heavenly parents and two parents. You're still fighting until today. With that, I'm so grateful to you and I love you so much. So with that, we can really heal ourselves because in the past, we didn't talk to ourselves much. We just talk to people, but we never talk to our own self. So it is a way that we can really communicate with our conscience. We can converse with our conscience. When we converse with our conscience, this is the way that we can start to connect to our heavenly parents because conscience is our second God. And then after we do this healing, guiding them, and then we were guiding them the way. So uh, there is a three part we are doing. So we let them see well their own past uh, situation about uh, what is their problem, their limitation. And then after that, we do the healing for them. And then after that, we guiding them to do well. And then finally can be well. So we were asking them in order for you to really strengthen yourself. What is your goal? What do you want to achieve? What is your vision? We are asking them this kind of the question. And then we will continue to use the question to coaching uh, to this uh, member. And then after that, finally, our direction, we will guide them to form their trinity. Who do you think uh, you can make the trinity with? any kind of the member, who, who are they? Can you list down the name like that? So we were asking them, so they will start to think, who can I connect with? Who can I to, be, uh, to make and become a Trinity team? So they will start to think. And then start from that moment, then we invite them to continue to grow in the home group, join the home group, and then to really form their trinity because they need to grow together with the trinity. And then finally, they need to go through the HDM Leader School, which is the witnessing education system in order for them to nurture a new life so that ultimately they can fulfill the HDM mission.
So this is the flow and the process that we are doing in this uh, awakening team. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much, Rikim. Uh, 이렇게 에, 정말 그 CUL 하는 것할수 있다고 생각하면서 CUL 하는 것 이것이 이제 지금 타임라인 코칭의 핵심이죠. 음. 보통 사람들은 잘 못한다고 생각하죠. 음. This is the key point uh, of timeline coaching. That you think to yourself, I can do it with that thought that you can see well, right? You can uh, in visualize and you can actually <laughs> move on to the next stage, I guess. It's what it's. 지금까지 우리가 공부한 게 see well, do well 이었거든요. So far, what we've learned is see well and do well. 우리들이 원하는 거를 이룰 수 있게 하기 위한 것을 이미 이루었다고 생각하고 시회하는 것이고. What we want to achieve, uh, we imagine ourselves that we've already achieved it, is how we uh, do in see well. 음, 그렇게 이미 이루었다고 생각하는 것을 잘 하기 위해서. 도와주는 것이 두 배를 하는 거죠. And uh, the thought of we've already accomplished it uh, to do that well is what we did on do well to support that uh, to see well. 그래서 두 배를 하기 위해서는 좋은 환경을 만들고 잘 들어야 되고 좋은 질문을 해야 되고. 그리고 상황에 맞게 우리가 여러 가지 작업을 해야 된다는 것을 지금까지 공부했습니다. And we've learned uh, to do well. We have to make good environment, listen very well, and ask questions, good questions, according to also in uh, different situations, accordingly. 앞으로 우리가 전도할 때도 말씀을 전달한다는 그런 생각보다는 어떻게 하면 그 게스트를 도와줄 수 있을까 이런 마음으로 접근하는 게 훨씬 더 빠르고 그들한테는 매력이 있게 됩니다. Uh, even in, in uh, witnessing uh, from now on, instead of thinking, oh, I need to convey a message or, you know, uh, instead of that, if we start to think, how can I help my guests? What can I do to help uh, our guests? Then that will be a faster way to approach uh, your context, your witnessing context. So, 지금까지 우리는 이것에 대한 것을 배웠기 때문에 저는 지금 걱정이 어떻게 이것을 연습하고 습관화해서 우리들의 문화로 정착할 것인가가 저의 큰그 고민입니다. And this is my also worry and kind of quest uh, that so far we've learned and studied, but how to practice and how to make it our uh, habit and settle in our, our culture, in our movement is <laughs> What I'm worried about. 네, 그래서 이제 그렇게 잘 하시는 분들을 소위 전문가들을 저와 함께 다시 또 스터디를 하고 공유를 해야 되겠다는 생각을 하고 있어요. So I'm thinking, you know, inviting those who are really doing the this coaching very well, uh, like professionals, and inviting them together to study and share it is what I'm thinking. 오늘 내가 강의했던 타임라인 코칭은 내가 이걸 통해서 굉장히 많은 우리 한국에 있는 일본 선교사들이 원하는 꿈을 이루게 해드렸습니다. Timeline coaching that I shared today 
uh, I've shared uh, with the uh, many missionary, Japanese missionaries living in Korea to achieve their dreams and goals through this. Yeah. Yeah. 그리고 불안하고 어, 좀 어두운 그런 우리 축복 가정들한테 밝고 희망 있는 그런 삶을 이끌어줬다고 저는 생각합니다. And I believe uh, I could lead, lead them uh, to have more brighter, I mean, uh, blessed families who are in darkness, who had real difficulties out of their situation to move into more brighter and uh, have hopeful life switch to. Uh, 우리가, 에, 이제 더 열심히 해서 전문가가 되겠다 하는 분들을 지원을 받아서 어, 깊게 트레이닝하면서 어, 또그 사람이 또그 나라나 그 지구에서 또 리더가 되어서 트레이닝을 할수 있도록 그렇게 이끌어 가기를 원합니다. And uh, so far we've studied this together for a year now, and I'm thinking to uh... Invite those who want to study uh, more deeply and want to uh, get a deeper training so that they can also become a coach in their own country and region um, voluntarily. I'm thinking to invite them. Yeah, so, 이 CUL, 2UL, BUL이 있습니다. 그래서 다음번은 BUL을 하면서 마치는 걸로 합니다. Oh, uh, I think uh, there was a miscommunication. Uh, the, today's session is the last of uh, last session of do well, but uh, so 한번더한 건가요? 그러면 do well. Yes. So yes. we'll have one more session under the title of be well. So today is not the last session. Uh, 오늘 이 저기 그 타임라인 코칭에 대해서 질문 있으면 좀 해보시겠습니까? 이 타임라인 코칭에 대해서. Anyone who has a question about timeline coaching that we I've shared uh, today, please ask if you have any questions. 예. Yes, I do. Yeah, my question is, uh, my question is about uh, if the vision is including more than individual itself, if it's a couple or team, wouldn't uh, be wise to have all the team or the couple itself being on the line and go through this process together and discuss together the vision easily individuals have very different visions uh, how it can be then united yeah? that's uh, could you catch my question mm. 지금 이 타임라인 코칭은요 어그 코치가 원하는 어떤 비전을 성취시키기 위한 것이 아니고 클라이언트 새로운 사람이라든가 아니면 교회 안에 어려운 사람이라든가 또는 리더들이라든가 그 사람들이 비전과 꿈을 달성시키기 위해서 하는 거거든요. Uh, okay, this uh, timeline coaching is not what the coach wants to achieve for the client, but rather this is for the client, uh, whether it's a new person or a member who is in difficult situation or leaders who want to uh, achieve. This is to support and help uh, to achieve the vision and dreams of those clients, right? Members, not the coach itself <laughs> and what the coach wants to achieve for them. 
culture. 혹시 이해가 되셨습니까? Did you understand? Uh, uh, yes, it's clear. I clarify more. The client itself, his vision or her vision usually, most likely includes a lots of people, right? Uh, vision for family, vision for team. So this I mean, the client itself has a vision for a group of people being part of that. So th that was my point. How to, uh, you know, is there, would it be applicable this line coaching for a couple or a team or a trinity even? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... 1대1이면 한 사람을 세워서 질문하고 어 이렇게 그 답을 하게 하겠지만은 두세 명 팀도 그 자리에 세워서 설치를 하면 됩니다. Of course, uh, when you do one on one, uh, you can uh, ask uh, your client uh, to do that on the timeline, but also you can do that as a team of two to three people. Uh, of course, we can do that. 예를 들자면 내가 코치고 어, 조세 팀이 있다고 합시다. For example, I'm the coach and you have a team uh, of people. 그러면 이제 플라워에다가 라인을 걸어놓고 조세 uh, 팀이 지금 현재 어디 있느냐 물어보겠죠? And I will uh, draw a line or put tape on the floor and I will ask you, where are you in the timeline? I'll ask. So, team you want on, team you want on, which is the men who team you run on, which is motion to Buru Bomita. And I will ask, what is uh, your team wants to achieve? Oxy Joseph Yegi was your Oxy team, I was saying, I said, there, one on Gis Mika. Can you please answer, uh, Joseph, as a team, like you, you say you have a team. What is your goal that you want to achieve as a team? Or yes, see, I got your answer. Thank you. It works as a team. I, in my, in my mind, I try to see this technique uh, applicable for any kind of situation uh, very broadly. So, you know, I try to work, uh, you know, as it, as we have a committee or team leading this nation so we need to have same vision as a team so but uh, yes uh, you answered this uh, we can do that as a team or as a couple yeah bro broadly speaking yeah thank you very much mm, of course, whether it's, a, it's an individual or team, you can share through timeline coaching uh, with them. 자, 그럼 퍼스널하게 저한테 타임라인 코칭을 받아보고 싶은 사람 있습니까? Anyone who would like to have a coaching session with me on timeline coaching. Я хочу спросить, есть ли у нас желающих? Я не смотрю, как кончаю. It's a practice, so it's okay. Anyone who is brave enough. Наоборот. Please uh, step up yourself if you wanna have a coaching session. It's a really precious uh, opportunity. I believe. <laughs> I say, I say you know, a director deal always asks like difficult questions. So. You can do it, right? 
Okay, uh, Alexander Sokolov, no a reverend. Else, if no one else wants, uh, right maybe I can okay. uh, volunteer, if it's okay. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, so what is that you want to uh, achieve in your life? Mm. So mostly in my mind, there are two sides. One is uh, uh, how to succeed in witnessing. And another point is uh, my family life. These two, for these two spheres, areas in life, I have like um, things I want to achieve. <clears throat> uh, for witnessing, I am thinking uh, how to organize my life to always have time for witnessing, to invest in my contacts, uh, to um, give lectures in uh, divine principle and uh, generally um, on education and concerning my family life I'm thinking on uh, how <laughs> it can it can be okay but, you know, okay let's just uh, choose one out of two which one you want to uh, uh, talk today Maybe uh, about the family, we can talk later on. Maybe, yeah, let's choose a bit. Oh, who John Day one on was in there? Okay, let's talk about the witnessing. So, uh, what's the situation uh, you are in on your timeline right now? Present. Well, for oh, now, um, I have a few good a couple of uh, guests in whom I'm um, giving education now. Concerning them, I feel that I need to invest in them more, uh, like contact them more, or more often invite them to lectures, or maybe have uh, more personal talk, just generally to make uh, better bonds concerning uh, making new guests uh, uh, i feel that um, i not have enough uh, don't um, invest enough time to for witnessing uh, new guests uh, like um, not managing time well uh, and also also i'm thinking about uh, making family festivals, but also I made a few steps, but I uh, didn't succeed well to make one. And also I'm thinking, should I uh, make more time and better plans and invest in this area more or maybe postpone it? <clears throat> this okay. is my current situation. So don't worry about 자신이 어떤 자리에 어떻게 서 있는지를 확실하게 얘기를 하세요. 생각하지 말고 내가 어떤 자리에 서 있다. Uh, don't, do not try to uh, worry too much. Just can you please tell me where are you now in your timeline? What's your spot? What's the situation? Mm. Well. Sorry, I, maybe I didn't get the point. What should I ex express? What should I describe exactly? Maybe I don't understand why. Okay, okay let's say today, right now, or not right now, today, okay. where you are. Okay. Now and here, 어떤 생각을 하고 있어요? Uh, towards uh, witnessing, what's your position right now? Yeah. Mm. What's my position? Uh, like, uh, 
What's my position? I Well, uh, can you say <laughs> differently? Uh, since what I uh, told before uh, looks like it didn't, it is not what you expected me to describe. I not quite understand really what is what is my position or what you can say. Uh, what is it exactly it means? What does it exactly mean? Mm. Sorry. Uh, I try to uh, describe like what I feel, what I do now and what I think I need to do more. Uh, this is uh, what, how I understand in which position I am toward witnessing now. Maybe you expect it a bit different thing. I am sorry. No. Now, in the present what do I 무엇을 원하는지 이런 생각이 있다면 정확하게 리얼리티 현실을 나에게 얘기해 달라는 거예요. Uh, in your position right now today if you have what you want and what you want to achieve what you need to do uh, your reality can you please describe uh, it to me. Well, you know, concerning uh, my desire for witnessing I feel that uh, it is uh, good. I uh, uh, I feel that, uh, for example, you, uh, when I uh, take my week and look at it, I uh, am thinking, for example, which days I will um, uh, contact my uh, guests who my witness to uh, my spiritual children, or for example, uh, which day I want to plan to meet them or talk to them more. Uh, you know, what is the reality? Uh, also, I feel uh, difficulties with, uh, like when more external issues come upon me, then uh, I am become overwhelmed by these uh, these external issues uh, concerning my uh, work or finance or. Um, oh, ex different explanations, <laughs> and if they eat up my time, then I, if I do not prioritize well my witnessing activity, then I do not have. When I look back, I see I, uh, I do not have enough time. I didn't invest well enough in witnessing, like this. <clears throat> okay. Oh, 지금 그런 상황이군요. Oh, yes, I understand now uh, your situation. Is, that's your uh, reality, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. 그러면 자기가 그렇게 걱정하고 원했던 것들이 이루어진 상황은 언제쯤입니까? 그 자리에 가서 한번 서보세요. 그 길을 타임라인을 걷는다고 생각하면서 okay, let's, 원하는 게다 uh, 이루어진 자리에 서세요. Okay, from present, let's move, walk on your timeline. Imagine yourself, we are walking on a timeline. We are moving on to your future point, future uh, spot. What you're worried now or what you want to achieve now has been accomplished. Can you move? Can you imagine yourself? We are walking on a timeline to the future. It's been already accomplished. What you want to accomplish? Yes. <laughs> this is great. Uh, please uh, tell me uh, the date and a year that has been accomplished 
uh, your goals and your uh, wishes? When is it? Oh, <laughs> exact time, wow. Uh, I think it is. Uh, um, I think it's frozen. Alexander? <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh it's frozen now. Ah, the other pack of audio so out on the line get you. Alexander, now how about there here? Did me down. Alexander, are you there? Ah, now I should go. Uh, I think it's cut off. Uh, timeline coaching uh, Okay, for, uh, for time like coaching, you have to uh, realize yourself where you are, the reality and the situation of present time. 그리고 난 다음에 코치가 서서 걸어가라 할때 당신이 원하는 것을 이루어진 상태로 걸어가라고 그럴 때 분명히 걸어가서 그 자리에 서서 이루어진 상태에 대해서 느낄 수 있어야 됩니다. When a coach uh, tells you, please walk on your time timeline to the future uh, future point or spot. Or you have already accomplished your goals and your wishes, you should be able to feel that uh, moment, those time that it's been already accomplished. 그 이루어진 상태에서 코치는 자꾸 물어보는 거거든요. 어떤 so, 상태냐, 무엇을 했느냐, 무엇을 이루었느냐 이렇게 물어봅니다. So uh, when you are imagining yourself that everything is already accomplished, uh, your goal has been accomplished, and the coach uh, would ask, so how do you feel? Uh, what's your uh, uh, situation? And what did you do? And what did you accomplish? 그럴 때 게스트가, 클라이언트가 확실하게 대답하지 못하면 다시 현재로 돌아오게 해야 돼요. And if the guest or client could not answer clearly on those questions, then the coach need to uh, guide uh, your client to uh, walk back to uh, the present and start again. Why not? Because the frame is not visible in the present, the frame is not visible in the future. So that means uh, the client is stuck in the current frame of time. And even though the coach asks the client to walk uh, to the future and it's been already accomplished to imagine that uh, the client, because uh, he or she is in, in the current frame, could not get out of that, so cannot really see the future or uh, reframe themselves. 그래서 현재에서 또 얘기를 하고 미래에 성취되었다고 하는 것에 대한 확신을 갖고 걸어갈 수 있도록 그렇게 도와줘야 돼요. 코치. Uh, therefore, the coach needs to help the client from the current position to um, move to the future so that 
they can see their um, position of accomplished uh, uh, so it takes about an hour to do that, uh, actually. Um, but if you really want to do it, if there is a person you really, really want to help and support, then you can, of course, shorten the time uh, from one hour to shorter time. 간절한 마음으로 자기가 원하는 것을 이루고 싶은 사람은 타임라인 코칭을 하면은 상당히 빨리 될 수가 있다 이 말이죠. Through timeline coaching, um, those who uh, ardently want to achieve those uh, goals and wishes can be shortened. Timeline coach. Yeah. Uh, so they were getting out of time. But I would like to find a good case study to share with you next time. So, 여러분, 영상을 보시고, 한번 계속 연습을 해보시게 되면, 연습을. So, please do practice uh, after watching. A video because the video will be uploaded so you can practice yourself. And next time, it be great to have a presenter who uh, succeeded in this to share. It will be great. Yeah. Be well. Be well. Be well. Be well. Be well. Be well. So next session, uh, we'll share about be well, means you've already accomplished and you're in that state of being well. Yeah. Uh, I guess it was a little bit difficult today, but you know, uh, you can understand, oh, there's uh, things like this. Uh, of timeline coaching, if you understand that, that's good. 자 그러면은 오늘 여러분들이 궁금한 게 많이 있겠지만은 아 여러분들이 혹시 코디네이터한테 질문을 보내준다거나 하면은 답을 드리겠습니다. I'm sure you have many questions about this. If you uh, send questions to your coordinators, then I will uh, give answers. 자 그러면 우리 아미 선생님. 네. 네, 이렇게 모여주셔서 이렇게 참석해 주셔서 정말 감사드립니다. 그리고 발표해 주신 어, 발표자도 그리고 김영환 교수님께 감사드립니다. 그러면은 저희 어, 마치기 위해 어, 하늘보호님과 전진 장군님께 경배를 올려드리도록 하겠습니다. Thank you for, so much for all the presenters, uh, Professor Kiel and everyone who's presented today, participated today. Thank you so much. Before closing, we'll uh, offer our bow to heavenly parents and to parents of heaven earth and humankind. 네, 하늘 부모님과 전지인 장군님께 경배. 바로. 감사합니다. 네. 감사합니다. 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 Thank you.